Hello everybody, this is Elisha Keating from WisdomSeekers.net and the .net is up and usable. Please feel free to go check it out. There will be a few more changes, but nothing, nothing major. So this is my logo. You will find it in all places where you can find Wisdom Seekers. Please feel free to reach out to us. It's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're here. So, and I, I do like talking to people very much, actually. I'm a very gregacious. So this is for the fire sign Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the 27th, Saturday, May 27th, 2023. And the energy looks, I'm not sure how to say this actually, it looks pretty good. So this is the Three of Pentacles. And when I looked at it, my first feeling was, you've really done a lot of work, fire. But you haven't accepted that you've done the work and are at a level that you're at. So this is, this is a day to accept who you are, where you are, where you are, and enjoy it. Enjoy, because this is the Three of Pentacles. It's time, that, it's time for people to listen to you because you are, have that ability, that, that strength. It's the time you've put in the effort. It's also, uh, interestingly enough, a money card, which I very much, I very much have been saying that light workers have come in and many, not all, but many of us have contracts to break this, the abundance or lack of, of, in our lives. Or human lives, or earth wise. So that's, that is a now concept. There's two things happening now. Accepting being loved and accept the fact that we have the right to be abundant. So those two things are premier in our energies right now. The three of wands. And this is, this is interesting because you can, I, in my opinion, and what I've watched people, since I've worked with people for many years, what I've watched is that people cannot grow until they accept their own responsibility for their lives. And it's not that you are not capable of accepting this responsibility for yourself. It's that it's, it's there, but you haven't realized it's there. It's the same thing with the three of pentacles you have the power you have the strength it's there you just haven't acknowledged it don't you don't realize it's there it's come on kind of snuck up on you it takes a lot of courage it's two of two of swords it takes a lot of courage to do this because we're going outside our comfort zone but we all have to go outside our comfort zone to continue to grow and we are moving into a brand new energy. So whether you like it or not, you're moving outside your comfort zone. If you don't, you get stuck in the old ways and they, 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 you'll be left behind. What is worse, being left behind or facing new fears? You have, it takes a lot of courage to move forward. But know where you're going. You don't have to know how you get there. You really don't. And you have to very much stay in balance. If you don't stay in balance, it does make a huge difference. One of the tricks would be to open your heart wide. Like I say before, the wider your heart, the less you pack down stuff. And the less you pack down, the more strength you have to, to continue growing and being. All right? So that's... That is important that we do this so that we grow from the heart because we're moving into to the fifth dimension. All the dimensions are building blocks or love. For the fifth dimension, it's more pervasive love. So the more you're open, the more you're, you're, you're genuinely loving for yourself first and then for others 
the easier it is to slide into without tripping trip wires, so to speak, into the fifth dimension. We have to, we are all of us the masters. We just have to remember we're masters. Masters of dealing with energy, masters of dealing with emotions. We put on this human human coat and with it comes all these if ands or buts. But in reality with we didn't have these human coats or bodies, we would be we are not would be we are masters we just we just choose to be on a beginner level a medium level or an old soul level but it's a choice we choose it you can choose anything you want at any time yes i know you're going i can't do that maybe not because you haven't you're still stuck in the belief system and you want to change the belief system and then so we get to temperance and the temperance is changing old energy, getting rid of that which no longer serves, bringing in new put, new new energy, bringing in new joy. And part of what that is, the most important part would be honestly, and flash. Love, love is for the Saturday. Love is the key. Self love makes makes it so you can love others and other others can love you the more you love yourself the more more people can love you so quickly now the ten of cups it brings us to it will bring us to a place of love a place of joy no this is not joy this is happiness joy and happiness are two different things in my lingo joy happiness is up and down but we have the right to be we have the right to be happy and we don't realize that quite often we don't believe in ourselves we have, why do i have the right to be happy when other people aren't well it's contagious so if you're happy maybe these other people won't will be happy and then out and out and out and maybe the people who are starving in other parts of the world will eventually receive that joy and have food and happiness if you start with yourself. Namaste, namasko. I love you and you, I do love you.